Hey, it's me, AP. In this video, I will be sharing with you five sci-fi movies that you should watch. Subscribe to the channel, you defective being. So, sci-fi movies. Why sci-fi? First of all, I love sci-fi movies. They are probably on par with superhero movies, but I, I mean, some superhero movies can be sci-fi as well. But yeah, I, I do love sci-fi movies, and I wanted to share these five movies today because... For me, the five movies that have maybe been forgotten in time somewhat, maybe maybe the video should be titled Five Forgotten Sci-Fi Movies, Forgotten Forgotten by Time. So um, let's go with the first movie. My first choice in the list of sci-fi movies that you should watch is Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Now this was released, uh, I mean like early 2000s, and it is by, you know, Douglas Adams. Hitchhiker's Guide is a very uh, popular franchise, popular book series. And I feel like the book, the movie just didn't do that well. And I remember initially watching it probably when it came out and I didn't really think much of it. And a few years later, I watched it again. It was on TV. I loved it. I thought it was an amazing movie, a great sci-fi movie. It was sort of also in between, you know, it's that time period, early 2000s where, you know, CGI was really coming into the height of things but they were going too overboard on some side on some cgi i mean like prime example is like some like scorpion king where the cgi was awful um hitchhiker's guide sort of bounces it out it has a really good animatronics creature effects of the aliens in it and um, i feel like there's a lot of like real built sets in there what you know i think gels well with movies especially with sci-fi movies i think a, a good balance of things and it's sort of got the digital effects, digital, the C CGI, got it really um, spot on in my opinion. I think it's a, a film that stands the test of time and it should be more regarded, I feel, amongst, you know, DVD lovers, movie lovers, sci-fi lovers. It's a movie I really enjoy watching. I think it's a good comedy movie. It's got comedy, I suppose it's comedy... Um, I, yeah, comedy. I wouldn't say it's comedy action as such. It's not really that much action. It is a comedy movie. It's a comedy series. Um, I never watched the original TV show, but I've read, I've read bits of the books and the audio books I've listened to. So, um, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. Don't panic. <laughs> it is a good movie. It's an awesome movie. So let's go into movie number two, The Time Machine, the the H.G. Wells uh, book, and oh, The Time Machine, I love this movie, it is a class movie, again it's a movie that is really, I feel like it's not really spoken about that much, I feel there's that much, um, there's that many sci-fi movies, there's a lot of movies out nowadays, it, it's just, it's common cause, unless the movie is something like Avengers, it will get lost in time, but The Time Machine is such a, a cool movie it's got guy pearson it's got jeremy irons in and samantha mumba as well the the pop star turned actor or turn actress or actress turn pop star i'm not sure, sure which way it goes around but you know there's tons of versions of the time machine and um, i remember watching a black and white version i believe but this for me is the epic version you know um don't want to give too many spoilers within this video for any of these movies but you know um there's a great trauma in guys pierce's character's life that started this film and then he builds a time machine that he wants to then try and course correct what happened the trauma and then problems happen and then basically he gets thrown into the future into this future dystopian world and the story goes from there and it is a fantastic movie i really like it and um, if you're looking if you're into time travel movies especially the time machine is probably one of the best time travel movies up there it's up there on par with that to the future in my opinion so movie number three and movie number three is a more modern movie and it is oblivion with tom cruise and morgan freeman i remember when i heard um initially that they were doing an oblivion movie i thought it was like the elder scrolls um skyrim sort of movie i thought it was some sort of spin-off of that but it is nothing like that it is a sci-fi movie um you know it's also got i think it's got jamie lannister in out of game of thrones for me oblivion is a movie not one of tom cruise's most beloved movies but i think it is a terrific movie the visuals are great the, the soundtrack by m83 the band the synth pop band or solo artist 
is fantastic. It is the director, the explosive story from the director of Tron Legacy and producer of Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Tron Legacy is a fantastic movie, and I mean, if you've got the same produced, well, the story from the same director of that, I think it's it's spot on. It's a terrific sci-fi movie. It's um, as I say, it's Tom Cruise. I think. Everyone thinks of Tom Cruise is the action star. He's mainly for, you know, the Mission Impossibles. He's done some really great sci-fi movies. Um, the one where it is the time loop one that is fantastic. I can't remember. It, has a, it had, like, two different names. One in UK and one in the rest of the world. Um, but I believe it is a fantastic movie. All about exploring about, you know, clones, things like that. Again, I don't want to give too much away, but it is, if you're into Tom Cruise movies, if you're into Tom, Tom Cruise sci-fi movies... If you've not seen it, Oblivion is definitely something you should watch. <laughs> Terminator. And this this here I'm holding I'm holding I'm holding in my hand is the Terminator quadrilogy uh, box set, DVD box set. Um, but I want to talk about one of these movies, and it's not Terminator 1, it's not Terminator 2, it's not even Terminator 3. It's Terminator 4. Salvation. Terminator Salvation with Christian Bale. Terminator Salvation, I don't get the hate for this movie. I think it is a great movie. I love Terminator 2 is my most favourite Terminator movie. Um, I've actually not watched Dark Fate or Genesis yet. Uh, Genesis just didn't, didn't like the look of it. I, I feel for me it was just like, you know, the amount of cast changes, you know, Christian Bale I thought was great as John Connor. Um, I think Salvation's a fantastic movie. It's really dark, it's really gritty. Um, it really builds something different upon the Terminator franchise. I feel like every other movie, Terminator movie I watched, the first three anyway, they're all very much just rehashes and rehashes and rehashes. It, even as good as they are, Terminator 2 is phenomenal. It's a great movie. Terminator 1 is great as well. Um, Terminator 3 I didn't really enjoy, um, but I felt they, they were all very much the same very similar story arcs, but Terminator 4 Salvation just feels different. It feels like there's a, a, a new direction and where it's going. And it's, um, when I watch it and when I hear and read reviews about it and just the general critical response from people, people don't seem to like it. And I don't get it. I think Christian Bale is fantastic. You know, this was made, this was created probably around the height of Christian Bale, you know, when the Dark Knight series was, was at its height and and I think it is a good movie. So if you like Terminator movies and you've not seen Salvation, definitely watch it. If you like sci-fi movies and you've not watched Terminator Salvation, most definitely watch it because it is a fantastic watch. Finally, I'm on to the last movie in this five movie sci-fi movie must watch video. And this one is Stargate. Stargate, the director's cut. I've never seen the normal cut, but the director's cut is is a great movie. This is the movie that started the Stargate franchise. Um, this movie should have been what the TV show should have been. It, this movie should have spawned sequels upon sequels with this cast. And this is what my frustration was always with, was with Stargate. This cast features James Spader, who... You know, more recently, people would know him from The Blacklist and, you know, Age of Ultron. He played Ultron, voiced Ultron. Kurt Russell as well. Um, obviously, Kurt Russell has been in everything. He's been in the Marvel movies recently with the Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Um, this is where, you know, this direction of this, this movie is great. You know, Stargate, they go into, they find the Stargate and then they go into the, this new world and then so starts the movie it's a great movie great cast i enjoy the story i i just wish they had done more movies with james spader and kurt russell and the rest of that cast not to say not to say the the tv casts were bad bad actors or anything like or bad actresses or whatever i just think it was so perfect it, it had a great, and I, I, I realise it's probably a case, they wanted to make a TV show version of Stargate, and they probably just couldn't get Kurt Russell to sign on for the TV show, and I imagine that was just simply it. And it's disappointing, but it's the way it goes, but Stargate, if you've never watched this, maybe if you've 
you've watched the TV show, you didn't like the TV show, definitely watch Stargate the movie because this is a phenomenal movie. So that's it. That's my five um, movies, sci-fi movies that you should watch. Um, let me know below any ideas and any suggestions you have for me personally. Um, I'm always looking out for new sci-fi movies. I love sci-fi sci-fi movies, as I said. And, you know, any suggestions are much appreciated. Remember to subscribe to the channel and click on notifications. And thank you very much for watching.